Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. In today's video, I have two items that I picked up online from the Hermes store. I just wanna caveat this by saying it is not a handbag, so if you are expecting some sort of magical Hermes handbag, unfortunately this is not a Birkin or a Kelly or a Picatin or an Evelyn or anything like that. Of course, I would love to have one of those items, but that is not what we are going to unbox today. I picked up two items that I feel as though are going to fit into my wardrobe great. I think they are going to go with things that I already have and I will share with you what those items are. I have two items to share. Should we start with the large box or the smaller box? I'm not sure. Which one should we do? Maybe we will do large box. We'll do the large box first, but before I get into this, I want to share with you that I unfortunately do not live near an Hermes store. So the only time I have ever been into an Hermes store is when I've been traveling and they have had one. So unfortunately, the sales associates that I did deal with in person, I never got their business card or anything like that. So I didn't have a point of contact, unfortunately, and the points of contact that I did have I texted them and they never texted me back and I actually sent them a text too and said hey if you no longer work there please let me know and I'll stop texting you because you know I didn't want to be a nuisance so I was looking for these items and everyone has told me how it's so important to build a you know a relationship with a sales associate at Hermes so I called this the customer service number and I asked them if they could find these two items at a boutique. They were able to find the items at a boutique in New York, so they said someone will be calling you soon, probably within 24 hours. Nobody ended up calling me back, so I did just order both of these items online, and I will be honest, this one in particular, I was shocked that it was online because I just always thought this was something that was a little hard to get and you will see when I open it. But anyway, I wanted to give you a quick little backstory that I don't have a sales associate. I did get this online. Now in the past, if there was something I was searching for, a lot of times I would either go in store if I was near a store, or I have had times where I've called the customer service, they have passed me information along to the store and someone did call me back, but that never happened this time. So anyway, let me stop jabbing and get into the first item. So first, let's unbox this. I don't know if you guys know what this is. If you are an Hermes enthusiast, you might. Oh, and I'm sure you can tell they are a pair of shoes, which this is the first time I am seeing them. This is a true, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is a true unboxing. We are going to unbox them together. They come, you can see, in the cute little dust bag. And I'm sure you can tell they're a pair of shoes. Any guesses on the color? Take a moment. The item that I picked up is the Oran sandals, which I'm so excited about. And this is in the gold color. I was shocked that these were available online and there were a ton of other colors available online as well. They had a beautiful pink, they had a beautiful sea green color that I was like so tempted by, but I told myself if I'm going to invest in shoes like this, I want it to be a color that I know I'm going to wear a lot. And another reason I went with the gold is I thought this would pair nicely with a bag I already have. Okay, I do own the Chloe bag, and I think these pair really nicely. Now, you may or may not know that I do have the Chloe sandals that kind of go, but sometimes when I'm wearing them together, I feel like it might be a little much with the logo, so I wanted to get a pair of shoes that were this color, and I just, I'm very excited about these. Now, I have heard mixed reviews. I really don't know much about the Iran sandals. A lot of people have said they're uncomfortable, so I don't know what to expect. I have wider feet, so I didn't know what size to order. I just went with my, my true size. Normally I wear an eight or an eight and a half, so I ordered a 38.5. Now I will try them on for you so you can see what they look like. But again, they are calf skin with the iconic H 
cut out. I'm so excited. I have wanted a pair of Oran sandals for quite some time. I actually thought about picking up a pair when I was in Vegas, but I just could not splurge on these shoes and I just didn't know what color I wanted. So I thought long and hard about what color I wanted and then I happened to go out and wear my Chloe bag the other day. I was like, oh, that's a good idea. I could wear, I could get the gold. Not only would that go with my Chloe bag, but it'll go with a lot of other bags I own as well. So again, these are calfskin. You can see the beautiful H. There is the beautiful stitching. And then I have, it says Hermes on the bottom and it says 38 and a half made in Italy. Very, very cute. I'm hoping they will be comfortable. I do not have the best luck when it comes to sandals like this. I've mentioned to you that the Chloe sandals give me blisters. So if you guys own the Iran sandals, let me know your thoughts. Do you think they're comfortable? Like usual, once I have had these for a little while, I will do a review for you. But also keep in mind, reviews can also be a little bit subjective because when I did the review on the Chloe sandals and I showed you guys the blisters on my feet, I had other people comment saying, oh my gosh, those are so comfortable. So I think it depends on the person. It depends on your foot. I do have wider feet. These look like, like thinner shoes, so hopefully it will work out. But either way, I thought these were super, super cute. So this was the first item I got. I'm super excited I got this. Again, I was very tempted by that beautiful green color, but... I tried to be realistic with myself and I was like, how often am I going to really wear that green? So I opted for the gold and I think it was a good decision. Another reason I went with the gold as well is maybe in the future I will be lucky enough to potentially get a bag. I love black bags, but I also love this gold color. You know, I would love to get an Evelyn bag someday. You know, that's been on my wish list, but I don't really have a sales associate, so I don't know if that's really going to ever work. So anyway, these are the shoes I picked up. Now let me share with you this little item that I got as well. Any guesses on what this is? I did have you guys guess on Instagram. I don't know if anybody guessed this. I think I don't think anybody did. So I will share with you what I got. I'm sure you can tell it is a jewelry item, but what jewelry item is it? And this is the first time I'm seeing it too. This is the Mini Kelly Double Tour bracelet and this is in the gold and as you can see I got it to match these. Now I do have the Kelly bracelet in black. I also have the Click H bracelet and the Click Clack H bracelet. So I wanted to make sure when I got a bracelet I would get something different. I am a huge fan of fashion jewelry. I love the fashion jewelry. So this one is oat skin with gold plated hardware as you can see. And I got this in a size T2. I think the options were T2 or T3. And all you have to do is measure your wrist and it'll tell you the sizing. So the way that you put this on and then you click it like that. And I will do an overlay so you can see it close up. And you can see that is so cute. I love that. Now, I got the T2. I don't know if maybe I should have gotten a size bigger, but the T2 fits like right on my wrist, like right in front of my little bone here. I think if I got a T3, it'd be a little further back. It depends on how you want to wear your bracelet, but I like that. So again, I have the bracelet. And then I have the shoes and I thought I could wear them together. And again, I spent probably, I spent a I wanted the Iran sandals for a while, but I have probably spent weeks analyzing what color to get. I thought about black. I even thought about white, but I thought, oh, the white sandals are going to get really dirty. And then in addition, I don't really have sandals that are this color. And I really thought it would match well with the Chloe bag as well. So I'm super, super excited about these two pieces. Let me know your thoughts and let me know your thoughts on the Iran sandals as well. If you own them, are they comfortable? Like usual, I do plan on doing an upcoming review as well, but I'm super excited about this bracelet. It's so cute and tiny and if you guys are also into the Click H bracelets or Click Clack H bracelets, they had so many new colors. They had a really beautiful green color. They had a yellow color. I was so tempted, but again, I wanted to get something this time around that was going to match. So I hope you enjoyed this little Hermes unboxing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And I would love to have you follow me on Instagram as well. Have a wonderful day, you guys, and I'll see you in my next video.